Not everyone who uses alcohol or drugs will develop a problem, yet others will develop a substance use disorder. Why is that? People have different risk factors for developing a substance use disorder that are entirely unique to them. These risk factors could be from your environment, like poverty or if you're exposed to trauma, or more individual risk factors like your genes or the age of first use. The escalation from first use to developing a substance use disorder follows a pathway. This starts with initiation, to regular use, to problem and risky use, and then to substance use disorder and addiction. But not everyone goes down the full path. Think of it like a whirlpool. You start with initiation, dipping your toe into the larger pool. Your risk factors can act as weights, pulling you deeper into the pool, dragging you under the water. Far more people get into the pool with alcohol and tobacco than with heroin or cocaine. Each substance has different risk levels for developing a substance use disorder like whirlpools swirling at vastly different speeds. The heroin pool, for example, is a powerful force. Over 70% of heroin users will develop a substance use disorder. They'll be sucked in and pulled down, often quickly. Of all tobacco users, 56% will develop a tobacco use disorder. 9% of those who use alcohol, 11% of those who use marijuana, and 51% of those who use methamphetamines. And when multiple substances are used at the same time, the risks get even higher. Drugs and alcohol use can escalate to a disorder rapidly or slowly based on a person's individual risk factors, as well as the risk of the substances they're using. Understanding these risks are vital to understanding how to avoid a substance use disorder. We envision a world where fewer lives are lost to this treatable disease and help exists for those who need it. Together, we can solve this. Join us.